Never been here before. I think. I think I've never been here. Have I? No, I haven't been here. What the fuck is that? Is it over here this direction? God damn, this fucking place is huge. Not my target. That's some of the bitch right there. Old he may be, but it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. this move oh fuck I still haven't level up Ugh, this thing reeks the sooner it's off my hands the better alright uh fuck I think one of the, uh, I think there's gonna be like a fucking one of my targets the, the bounty alright alright all right. uh which one is this one uh, I don't remember. Shit. Who are you? Smooth, smooth like butter. Butter. Uh, I don't remember you. What was you again? What was it supposed to do? Oh, I think it's to find the. the, the, the. No, was it? No, it wasn't this one. I had to find... There we go. What do you want me to do? Uh, join... Uh... Ruth Ford or at Martha's Rest? What the fuck is that? He up here? Yeah, he's up there. Oh yeah, My this Lord guy. Marcus, is that you? It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your Lord Uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your Lord Uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas, 
Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Someone's got himself in trouble. I don't see your master here, so you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please, these men are trying to rob me. I'll deal with this. Thank you. Are you that one's master then? If you'd kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Okay! Oh, okay. What the fuck is Joshua? I can't really wish for him to like fall down over there. Come on. from Hugo is faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment that... I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. 
I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. Here. Uh, God damn it! I have two side quests here. They're pretty much together. <laughs> Wait, which smooth like butter? Oh, oh, this is a, the 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 find the ingredients. Okay, it's two different things. I thought I thought that he that the man the man we're trying to find is gonna be like right here, but it's not. Somehow we got his location around here. Is he being attacked by goblins? No, what the fuck? What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the Seven High Houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach, visit the Vale, tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. <laughs> I was hoping it was goblin, so my theory theory could be correct. God damn it. They just couldn't resist, could they? This one's ours, pretty boy. Alright, bitch. Damn it. I, I wish you to finish on my one like not one turn but one stagger damn it damn it
Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal Throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Yeah, give me a sec. I had to go and get the fucking ingredients. God damn it. Oh no, we're not alone. I can see those dogs. Fuck you. You said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Yeah, that. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Yeah, I can see her in front of me. You deserve a rest. Damn it, bitch. This must be our wife. All right. Let's get this over with. Fuck, halfway already. Holy shit. Fucking stagger almost. Torgal tr uh, change. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. Beer. Over there. Nothing protecting it? I uh, hope. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, good. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Better head back. All right, I completed all quests. Now I need, just need to talk to the people who, you know, wanted the quest. All right, your men are safe. They just both been attacked by by humans. I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. 
I am afraid that Grimm would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. There we go, we're in the thousands. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, reduce flare. Oh, now I'm getting a fucking Bahamas shit. Alright. We're in the thousands now. But it's still not enough. I need more. I thought your friend was around here. Seems the hideaway has lost its. I want to see what kind of, what kind of poison food you're gonna make. God damn it! So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look. In fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up, or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver, and. Uh, a herb, known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? So, not fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women? to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. What kind of dishes is that? It looks good, buddy. It sounds like he was choking. Fuck. God damn. Alright, what's going on with you? Why do I have to come back and report back what that you what you did? Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. 
I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Damn, I'm so close. This me and Clark's chamber. God damn it! I need something more, much better, damn it. Something badass. Another trap here. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. <gasps> oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. Alright, finally, to our main mission. <laughs> Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you, if there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. The canva then. We'll talk about this later. 
Yeah. Joshua has Cyril his own secret Cyril. organization. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. I, I want to know what he got in his findings. Three cities under siege? Siege? Ah. Oh. Odin. Odin is at the city. I forgot about that. Am I gonna fight him already? Good girl. Orcs. What? Let us be rid of them. Uh, we're just gonna go past them. <laughs> and there's more orcs. Why are there so many? I'm level 37. I need to fight something higher. Clive. Oh, that. Smoke. Is the city fallen? men are still holding their own then do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be there's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble we should hurry Why is there a side quest here? Did, didn't I finish this? Why is there a side quest here? We killing the flames. Gotta go back. Fuck. I gotta finish the side quest. You know what? Yeah, let's just finish it. I feel like something's gonna happen. Hey, what, what, what's going on with you? What will you need? Ah, Clive. Just a man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner, 
if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more Guardians of the Flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own, too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Back to Eastpool, then. Not just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool, then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. Masters taking over the place that used to be homish. Tell me, a bitch. Dude, how strong are these bastards? We'll give you the right to take over this place. Who the hell are you? Kill them! You will leave this place or face the consequences. Mohammed! What? Uh. You upgrade this? 750, goddammit. to wait ah uh, where's the magician he's in the middle Where the fuck this bitch came from? Here. 
doesn't matter. It goes too. Joshua, he, he has some badass moves too. Fuck. I saw him flying up. I saw like wings coming out of him. God damn it. Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Home. <laughs> and without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them, and not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy, especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool lives again. Let's go and tell Martha the good news. First things first, we'll need to get a few of these roofs seen to. Wouldn't want to be caught in a storm without any shelter. Ah, there you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is, you did it. And now we can build our new village! I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place. But that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well... Something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, 
The rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. Did I get it? I'm not sure. I had to go check with the with the highway. The real. What the fuck? What kind of quest is this? Nice. Let me see. Here you go. Fuck! The great justice. Oh, oh! I, I remember this. I remember this. This is that uh, he's gonna go fight the, 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 the fucking guy. The fucking noble. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. What we got? What we got? Let's see, since I can't uh, remember, I have to serve none but myself. I turn my backs on the world for the hand, uh, handful of silk and heavy purse. But where has that left me? It's hard to keep in joy one, uh, one's heart when all those around you are without. Something must change, and then change must start with me. Give me this. No risk, no reward. What the fuck is that? Alright, check right now. Then I need to get this. God damn it. I want the talisman. Come again. I may have more for ya. Is it? Wait. Didn't I get it? Don't tell me it's a fucking. It's a fucking song! God fucking damn it! What the fuck is this song? <laughs> God damn it! I was hoping to get something good. Like a, like a necklace or a new pair of pants. Not pants, but fucking... Whatever, fucking defense. What's this fucking thing Seems I got? <laughs> God damn it. Is that song? Where, where, where's the song of, uh, of Bahamut or fucking Titan? Where, where the fuck are they? Or the Phoenix. I like those songs. We're finally going to war. Are no you guys ready? I won't let you down. God damn his voice. <laughs> Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse, I would place Lostwing in their hands, if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway, that they might live even should Lostwing die? I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. 
I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Everyone, Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Oh, fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Monster? What kind of fucking... Holy shit, this far away? What kind of monster are we talking about? Like a fucking ogre or... Or... What was the other? Orc? Oh, what the fuck? Why the fuck is that here? Is that one of my bounties? Or one of those? Let's go. That he's controlling of? Alright, we're close. I might actually want to see what the fuck kind of monsters he got. Or Clive. somehow he tamed. Look. No. Don't tell me we're too late. Fuck. Oh no. Quinton, are you alright? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But. Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. I that fucking knew it! Guard dog. No. It's a rabid beast that needs to be put down. God damn it, you use this shit! God. Fuck! I didn't even use it! <laughs> Panicking. 
Oh shit! Already! He was already- He got staggered twice! What the fuck? That quick! If only we'd arrived earlier. Is it over? This is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You, you're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I. I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! I didn't think Joshua would talk. Like, Holy shit, how many fucking people are here? Fuck. Magicians, are they? Holy shit. I told him he's gonna turn. No, he cannot turn. Sorry, bitch. Is 
fidèle To get back to Quentin. Please don't be turned. Please don't be turned. Quentin. Quentin. Look at me. Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lostwing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinn. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it.
God damn it. I got this in my fucking uh, chamber. What the fuck? This. Breath of the Wind. Wicked Wheel. What the fuck? I'm still getting fu shit for Garuda? Alright, that's pretty much all the side quests, isn't it? Fuck! Ah, uh, I have another one! That's the only one? Yeah, that's the only one. Hey, uh... What's going on with you? Why you need help? I don't think anything is threatening that place. Just only bandits, is it? We defeated the bandits. What else, what else is going on here? If we're going to do this, we'll need help. Then we'll have to find it, and fast. We cannot let this chance pass us by. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness? And your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army, too, is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to... Encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed? Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find a village in Cherdra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Goblins. This must have been a nice place once. It will be again. Oh, fuck, how many are there? Got a charge. Sorry, bitch. Oh, I can charge fast when doing that. Okay. She can let him attack me more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fucking bastard. 
Get used to the uh, Bahamut stuff. Oh, closer to uh, 700. I think that's the last of them. I think you're right. Let's head back to Boklat. You want me to go all the way back over there? Wait. Can I? Where the fuck this goes? Uh. Can't go over there. Yeah, where the fuck that goes? I'm, I'm curious. Here's where the fuck this goes. What's happened? Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. What's this? What's this? It is like some kind of new side quest when I finish this one? Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations. We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Ah, 
Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. I thought I was gonna have another fucking side quest. <laughs>